Rev up your engines. Georgie Alonso says, Scotty, Happy New Year. That's the best German engine. Well, now, in terms of horsepower, the German engines, a lot of them are excellent engines. They put out a lot of horsepower. If you're talking about what's the best for longevity, I would say a Mercedes-Benz diesel engine because I recently got back from Europe and man, those guys are driving Mercedes diesel engines and everything from taxi cabs to police vans to garbage trucks to even ice cream trucks and they all had Mercedes diesel engines in them. I mean, those are really well-built engines. They're solid engines. There's nothing wrong with them. It's just that over here in the United States, most of the Mercedes are luxury cars with gasoline engines in them. They're really expensive to maintain. The parts cost a fortune, and they deliberately design them so only real Mercedes specialists can have the $25,000 tools to work on the things. Wiggle Villa says, howdy from Austin, Texas. I drive a Volvo S70 GL. T with 212,000 miles. I had lots of fun doing suspension, interior, and engine repairs. What do you think of the S70s? Oh, those things were killer cars in the day. That was the last time that Volvo made really solid, dependable vehicles that weren't European endless money pits. You know, the Chinese own them now, and they say they're only going to be making hybrid and electric cars in the future. But those old Volvos, man, they could run forever. I had a customer with one head 500,000 miles that was still running pretty good. And if you don't mind, like you don't seem to be, uh, fiddling around with yourself and fixing stuff, hey, you can keep fixing them and drive them forever. You live in Austin, they're not going to rust in Austin, Texas. It's so freaking dry there. You're in a semi-desert area that it won't rust. That the thing could last forever. It's Mr. Bombastic 101. He says, hey, Scotty, in general, how long can shocks last? Well, you know, that's a very good question. And of course, it depends on all kinds of things. The quality of the car you have, where you drive, if you take care of your car and don't let parts wear out that'll wear out the shocks faster, like driving with bald tires. First thing is, you want a quality car. Now take Toyota. I've had Toyotas that had 175,000 miles on them and still had the original shocks or struts on them. They're really well made. Of course, they're lighter cars too, like my Toyota Celica. That's a light car. The heavier a car, the more strain on the shocks and struts, the faster they're going to wear out. You get yourself a big old SUV, they're going to wear out faster. It's a heavier vehicle, and it's taking more pounding, and it's going to wear out faster. Got videos on how you can tell if they've worn out. I mean, I've seen guys wear them out in an SUV and say a really poorly made one like a Chrysler in 40, 30, 40,000 miles. I've seen people in Toyota Corollas have 250,000 with the original one still on. So just kind of take care of them buy a good vehicle and they can last a long time. Heavier they are though, faster they're going to wear out. Nick Rubino says, I just bought a 2004 Volvo S40 Turbo. It has 130,000 miles. I bought it for two grand. Any tips that I can make it last a few years? First, do a lot of praying. <laughs> Those things can be endless money pits with the turbos on them, especially with an automatic transmission. The weakest thing in that Volvo is the automatic transmission. And most of the customers I have, if they kept those long enough and the tranny went out, they junked the car. Because they weren't going to put five, six, seven thousand dollars into a car when it's that old. But you want it to last, so baby it. You can drive 80 miles an hour if you want, but don't go zero to 80 as fast as you can. Do it gradually. The slower you accelerate to go to a speed, the less strain there is on a car. Now, it is a turbo, so you want to change your oil all the time. I mean, don't listen to any of this crap that people give you. Oh, you can change your oil every 15, 20,000 miles. On that thing, I change it every three to 5,000 miles, period. Make sure that the engine and the turbo, which is the same oil, has clean lubricant in it and won't wear it out faster than normal. Sometimes those cars will last quite some time, and you only did pay two grand. Just make sure that you take care of it, and you don't throw a bunch of money. If it starts to fall apart, just get rid of it and eat the two grand rather than put thousands and thousands more into it. Smooth Earl says, I'm going to convert a high top cargo van into a camper. Toyota does make one in the USA. What would you choose, the Ford Transit or the Ram Promaster? Oh, I'd take the Ford Transit. Those are decent vans. I got a lot of customers and some of them are commercial customers and they have those Ford Transit vans and if you take care of them, they can last quite some time and it would make a good camper, you know. I mean, uh, tall, you got you have a lot of room, you want to do a work yourself, go right ahead, but that's a decent vehicle to choose for that. The only other choice, a lot of guys go for the Mercedes ones, but they cost more, so you know, you're going to get a better price on a Ford for sure. So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.